Hi everyone! In one of the latest videos, I covered how you can create co-pilot agents in SharePoint. Now I would like to expand this topic according to the messages, comments and direct messages that I received in building more complex scenarios. For instance, you maybe want to get the status of a single list item or you want to grab list items according or filtering for a specific column or moreover you want to engage much more with the SharePoint lists. So let me show you how you can do that by building your custom Copilot agent. Let's get started. Let's go. Here I am in uh, Microsoft Teams. So let's start to open my Copilot agent, custom Copilot agent built using uh, Copilot Studio. So I'm going to search now for Project Assistant. This is my agent that I created and built. So what I'm going to do now is taking advantage by this agent to work straightforward with a SharePoint list that contains all projects in my company. So let me show you how it looks, this list. So it's a normal project list that I have in my home site. And here are listed all important projects with some information. The name, of course, of the project, description, category, progress, priority, start date, due date. We have the responsible of the project, key stakeholders, and that's it. So what I want to do here is offering to all users in the company the status of projects or main projects. All right, so instead of opening the SharePoint list and giving and granting access to this SharePoint list, what we can do is staying in Microsoft Teams using an agent to ask to perform crude operations in a, in a SharePoint list. So create, read, update and delete items. So as a user, for example, I want to know what is the status of a specific and important project. Or maybe as an editor of the list, I want to delete a project because it's no longer running or I want to just change the priority of this project. So all these kind of activities can be performed using an agent just to give you a real scenario. All right, it's time to ask something to our Copilot agent. What I'm going to paste here is just a short description asking to create a new project named Drone X1 with the following description and category planning and priority low. Just these fields. Okay, let's send this one and let's see now what it's going to happen. So I can see that my agent is working behind the scene and what we have here as a result is that the project run X has been created successfully with the following details. All right, so let's double check that. I can see now my item just created. Let's refresh the page. And what we have here is the new item created drone X with the description that I sent with the right category and with the right priority. So that's that's it. All right, let's say now that I want to update something. Let me add another description here asking to change the priority for the project that I just created because I missed this and I forgot to, to add the right value which is in this case is high. Let me send this and let's wait that my agent run and call a flow that I created. What is the project description? Because this is also a parameter that I want to include in my project. So let's add the description that we added before. And now let's wait that my copilot, custom copilot agent do the job. All right, the priority for the project Dronix has been successfully updated to high if you need further assistance. So that's that's pretty cool. So just by asking something, you can change single value of every column 
So let me refresh now this page on the list just to double check that the value has been changed and here we go, has been turned to high. Let's see other use case. Let's say now that I want to delete the project that I created. Okay, let's add a new description here, delete project run X, just like that. And now again, let's wait that my Copilot agent run a flow that I created to cover this scenario. The project drone X1 has been successfully deleted. Okay, let me now go back again on the list and let me refresh the page just to double check that the item is really gone. And here we go. I, the drone X1 project is no longer available in the list. Let me show you other use cases that you can cover by using a copilot agent. Let's say that you want to extract now data according to a specific value in a column. All right, just some seconds ago, I tried to show me, to ask, to show me all projects in the company and my agent got an error. I will investigate later. I tried again by asking show all projects and here we go, I have now the list of all projects running in the company. So I'll show you now in detail how you can handle this, this scenario. But let me ask something else. For example, show all projects with priority, let's say, high, I would say. Okay, and let's see now that if my agent can assist me with this question. Hopefully I should get a response with the list and here we go. I got just two projects because in this case only these two projects have priority high. Let's double check that. So we have energy saver here and then we have company daycare center. These two have priority high and now I can see the response in, in the chat with my agent. It's time to show you how my Copilot Agents works. I am here in copilotstudio.microsoft.com and let's click on Agents so I can show you the Copilot Agent that I used before, Projects Assistant. Now, if you want to create a Copilot Agent independently from the Copilot for Microsoft 365 Bits chat, so you have to create a new agent from here. But if you want to integrate your agent in the Copilot business chat, so you have to go here and then create your agent from this section. So, and as you can see, I added my projects assistant here as well. So it's available as an independent app and it is integrated in my Microsoft business chat. So let me open now my agent projects assistant and let me show you what I build for the section actions. I'm not going to cover every section or pillar of this, this page. I already have done this in the past by doing another video, so feel free to, to watch it if you want. And let me now stay focused on actions because I want to show you how you can implement your Copilot agent that can assist you by running crude operations towards a SharePoint list, just to highlight a real scenario. So what I have here are a bunch of flows. I created create project. I covered the delete a project use case, get list of projects, get list of projects by priority, and finally update project by title. I'm letting the AI handling every action according to the request from the user. So I'm not going to touch anything in the topics here because I want to the AI, which is in preview right now, will trigger my action automatically. All right, so let me show you something now. Let's just take one. I'm going to open this, this flow. This is the one that I created. So, but before to show you this, I want to, I want to just show you how you can create a new flow and how you can create a connection between a flow and the action. So 
Just down below, I created a new flow, so you need to click on this button to start in creating a new flow. Just that. So once you do this, and now let's open the get list of projects by priority. Once you do this, you are going to open a new tab in the browser with make.powerautomate.com and then you are going to enter in edit mode on the page and you will see the first step which is this trigger run a flow from copilot and then respond to copilot and then you have to build your business logic inside so in the first one you need to identify parameters so what are the main parameters to answer correctly to the user so the user provides some information and in the information that the user gives you you have to take the right parameters to elaborate and run and process the request so in this case i need to display projects to the users by priority so my parameter will be priority because i need to filter the sharepoint list with this column so here i have the classic action coming from the SharePoint connector, get items. I'm targeting the list projects roadmap that we have seen before. I'm filtering by priority, as you can see here, I'm using the parameter that comes from the step before, and I'm getting just the first 100 items. Then here I have the for each that will, will add and append the value in a compose so this is one approach it's feel free to use the approach that you want by using a compose by using the select or an array and then down below i have the respond to copilot what i have here is i'm returning as outcome of this flow the result is and then i provide the compose that is built in the for each cycle that's it this is my flow my action that we have seen before now going again back i want to show you another one let's go with create project for example and in this other case what we have is as usual the first step which is run a flow from copilot and here i'm going to get title description category and priority so i can add also additional parameters if i want to fill the columns in my sharepoint list for example start date due date uh, assign it to stakeholders and so on and then just one simple action that will create and add the information coming from the parameter all right and then as a response i have just a simple parameter result project created successfully let me show you another one so let's go again on actions and in this other case i want to show you the delete a project flow so let's click on the link and now let's go in edit i have always the first step as a trigger then i have the get items because i need to get the right item that i need to update and i'm going to do it by using the parameter project which is the title of the project so now you can create multiple actions if you want to extract your project by a name or by a description or by another column that you want to use so it's really up to you thinking how to create the best logic uh, business logic app possible and then what i have here is just a the action delete item by reusing the id that we get before from the previous step and then finally the response to the copilot so that's that's it how you can use actions and how you can interact with our sharepoint list using a custom agent all right let me know in the comment down below what do you think about this capability and what kind of video do you want to see in the future I hope you enjoyed this video, if yes, please consider to subscribe and like. I hope to see you next time, bye!